Hello YouTube, my name is Hayden Cook, or FJX2000 as you may know me, and I am making this video so I can show you how to reinstall a rear windshield wiper motor on a Toyota FJ Cruiser. My year is a 2008 and it is a Trail Team Special Edition, but the process should be the same no matter what year you have. Uh, I hope that this is very informative to you and maybe you'll find it useful. I haven't found a lot of information on it and so here we go. So as far as the process of removing the rear windshield wiper goes, first I removed the rear tire so that way it'd have easy access to the windshield wiper blade and the mechanisms. Then you want to open it up and you want to remove this rear panel. If you don't know how to do that, you just undo the two bolts that are near the top. They're covered with little um, kind of like plastic tabs. And then you just pull it off and there's just little plugs that go into these holes that hold it into place. So you just pull it off and it'll pop off for you. Then you'll have this, this plastic sheet that has this black sticky stuff all around it. That you want to peel off carefully uh, so that way you can gain access to the motor and if you keep it in one piece then you can just re-stick it back on. So the motor sits right here in this cavity and there you're going to find a plug. You want to unplug that if your motor is bad so that you can replace it. And then what you're going to do is after you've removed your tire and all that for easy access, you're going to find that your windshield wiper will be sticking out right here. And let me grab it so I can show you what exactly you have to do. So this is the rear windshield wiper and it will lie right here on the back of the door. It rests on that rubber tab and so the end of this flips up I'll show you that right there see it flips up and the motor will be sticking out of this little rubber grommet type thing and there will be a little bolt that's holding this on you want to undo that bolt so that way you can remove this rear windshield wiper but for me I had to use a battery cable puller and I'll probably insert a picture of it about right now so that way I could actually yank off this uh, rear windshield wiper because it actually kind of sticks onto the end of the motor um, not sure what it's called the motor column that comes out of the rear door now if you're wondering what this little metal screw is that's just a screw that I put there so that way it would connect they would make the seal with this rubber so that way water wouldn't get in in the meantime while I was waiting for the new motor to come in so I'll show you what the motor looks like right here on the table I have the two motors this is the old motor and this is the new motor they obviously are exactly the same which is a good thing and on here you can see where it plugs in right there it has three mounting bolts one two three and this is the column that sticks through the back door that will connect to the rear windshield wiper this one's the old one so it has the screw that goes on the opposite end uh, after you've put the windshield wiper on there so now I think I'll connect them up and I'll have them run so that way you can listen to what they sound like the one I was replacing was making a terrible grinding noise and hopefully this new one will not be making that I've had an FJ Cruiser in the past and it didn't make any noise like this one did so I'm hoping that this will eliminate the problem so I hooked up one of the old, the old motor and you can hear it right now is making a terrible noise let me show you a little closer so this is just the motor hooked up right now I plugged it in and it's making this terrible noise even when it's not touching the metal it's making a strange noise I took it all apart to try and see if there was anything going wrong inside but everything looked fine but then when it is sitting here like on the metal it was just making so much noise and echoing through all the metal of the vehicle and so it did not sound healthy and I needed to replace it. 
So before you install your new motor completely and put the windshield wiper and all that, make sure to plug it in and run it through one of its cycles first. You wouldn't want to install it with it being kind of like halfway and then you install the windshield wiper where it's supposed to be, but then when the motor goes on, the windshield wiper goes way out of whack or goes backwards or who knows what would happen. Just make sure that you run it through a cycle first. So here I'm going to hook up the new motor so that way we can hear what it sounds like in comparison into the last one. So here I've hooked up the new motor and as you can hear it's obviously not making that terrible noise. It's super quiet and smooth which is exactly what I was looking for. I'm so glad that this new motor will fix the problem. And so even when it's mounted it's making minimal amount of noise. So that is awesome that this is working just great. So at this point, the first thing you want to do is to mount up your new motor. So all you do is you line it up with those three mounting points and then you use your bolt or whatever to connect it in there and make sure it's nice and tight. It has these little rubber mounts that probably help with like vibrations or anything from the motor. Uh, and keep it nice and solid and keep it as quiet as possible when you're driving down the road. Alright, so I made sure to mount up the motor. All three bolts are nice and tight. And now what we're going to do is make sure we run it through a cycle so that way it goes like up onto the window, across, and then goes and lowers back down into where like the windshield wiper would be mounted on the uh, on this plastic holder right here. And right here you can see the post that comes out, that bar, and that is what the windshield wiper will attach to. So after you've run your windshield wiper through one of its cycles, it'll then be in this uh, position. And so then you can get this metal part onto the rod and make sure that it's resting nice right there. And this whole mechanism is kind of spring-loaded, so you'll have to pull this metal part back this way, so that way it'll rest on there. And even right now, there's kind of some tension, so then we're going to put this little bolt on there, so that way it holds it in place. Uh, I use just a 10 millimeter socket, and that's the same size socket that you use on the other side, for these bolts that mount the motor. So now I have mounted the rear windshield wiper onto there. Again, this little tab pops up. I put the screw on there nice and tight so it's holding in place. It's resting on this. So now I'm going to turn on the motor and we'll see its movement. Looks like it's moving nice and smooth. And now when we turn it off, it should go back into its spot. Looks like it works great. Uh, that is a successful install in my opinion. So now from this point, I would take off the bolts and re-put on the rear tire. And I would also make sure that I reinstall this plastic, putting it all back into its place, and then re-putting on the back uh, panel that rests right here. And you just clip it into place. And also, something that I forgot to mention earlier, to take it off and to put it back on, you have to open this rear window because there's a part of it that goes right there and there's a hole for this bracket that then is locked in place. So make sure that you can open that window, and you do that, if in case you don't know, by putting your key in this hole, you push it in and you turn it and hold it. And after you hold it for a couple seconds, this window will pop out, and then you just pull up on this little tab to lift up the rear window. So hopefully that helps someone out there. Uh, it was something that wasn't available for me, so I just kind of rolled with it, figured out what I had to do, and hopefully you don't have the same problem. Have a great day.